Hey, what's up, everybody? So I was like looking around online and I found this article that's over a decade old now. And I just wanted to read it because I think it should be like looked at and saved. Why it's not always bad to be bullied. Learning to fight back helps children mature, says study. It is considered one of the most stressful experiences of childhood, but standing up to bullies and classroom enemies can help children develop, psychologists claim. A study has shown that youngsters are more popular and more admired by teachers and friends if they return schoolyard hostility in kind. And it's got a picture of old uh, Harry Potter there, and it says, Tormentor. Harry Potter faces off with his nemesis, Draco Malfoy. Research has found children who stand up to bullies can be more popular and mature. Although the researchers accept that bullying can be damaging to children, leading to depression and anxiety, those who are not afraid to stand up for themselves benefit from being picked on. Mutual dislike can help students develop healthy social and emotional skills and can sometimes have a bigger impact on their development than friendships, the researchers claim. In a study of American children aged 11 to 12, researchers from the University of California, Los Angeles, compared those who stood up to the aggressors to those who did not. Children who returned hostility with hostility appeared to be the most mature the researchers found. Boys who stood up to bullies and schoolyard enemies were judged more socially contempt by their teachers. Girls who did the same were more popular and more admired by teachers and peers, the researchers found. While the study did not suggest that it was healthy to be the victim of bullying, it found negative experiences could teach children about conflict resolution. It could also give them an early lesson that not everybody in life is going to like them, the researcher said. And then here's a little cartoon that says, We're distraught. Two years he's been here and he hasn't been bullied once. Pretty funny. Psychologist Melissa Whitco who is now at Willamette University in Oregon, said, The study backs up research from the academic Helen Goodberg, child development expert at the Open University, who said teachers should not protect pupils from playground spats as if they can handle the difficult events in the future. However, anti-bullying campaigners condemned her remarks at the time, saying teachers need to be vigilant about the problem. Some celebrities have reflected on how fighting back against bullies helped define their childhood. Comedian Eddie Lizard said he became a rock after fighting off bullies at the six boarding schools he attended. No one was going to give me a hard time because I was going to give them a hard time, he said. I was already built to resist any problems that would come up. Michelle Heaton, the former Liberty X singer, was bullied at school because she was overweight. It was horrible, but it made me a better person, she revealed in an interview. That's a pretty, pretty cool article. But let's go down here and look at some of these comments. Let's see what people were saying back then about it even. <clears throat> Terrible, misleading journalism showing the typical scientific illiteracy of our news makers, not reporters. There is nothing in this study that shows that being bullied can be good. Everyone in this study was bullied. It is quite possible that even those who stood up to the bullies were worse off than if they had not been bullied in the first place. The only thing this study showed was that those who stood up to bullies were viewed as more mature than those that were bullied and did not defend themselves. Even this difference is completely non-casual because it is highly likely that kids who are already more physically and psychologically mature are more able to stand up to bullies. The study is poorly done and even more irresponsibly and inaccurately reported. More misinformation driven by ignorance and the profit bias towards hype. Oh yeah, we got us a uh, keyboard psychologist right here. Let's read the uh, another one underneath it. Total and utter garbage. I know two people who were bullied at different schools. Both are fortunately now well-balanced, intelligent, happy people leading fulfilling lives. But the scars of bullying are still evident. If either is ever in a confrontational situation with other people, they completely fall apart. Maybe they're not <laughs> well-balanced, intelligent, happy people? I think you just kind of like contradict yourself with that one. Unable to cope with the fears of being victimized and overreacting hysterically as memories of the past come flooding back. Bullying has not made them stronger people. 
the trauma of the past are still with them and always will be. Bullying should be nipped in the bud instantly, not held as some great confidence building opportunity. Well, people, uh, people's opinions haven't really changed that much, have they? They just want everybody to be as comfortable all the time as possible. They don't want to have any sort of conflict to build character. Because seriously, you have to like go back to every single bit of mythology. Just like read some Joseph Campbell's like the hero with a thousand faces. You have to have conflict to have like personal growth. So, I don't know. But I wanted to read this article because, you know, from 2010 and I feel like times have uh, changed since then and they might not actually post out this article anymore. Thanks everybody.